It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving. <laughs>
And this isn't just a one-time thing that I'm blowing out of proportion to be hyperbolic. It happens all the time. Other times, the netcode has a spasm and the same thing happens in PvP. I just watched this man come back to life and take mine away all before I even had a chance to respond. It seemed like I took him out, so I stopped aiming at him and started trying to turn my camera to go after another guy. Before my camera even had a chance to turn 360 degrees, he revived and took me out. Remember when I said the AI have pinpoint accuracy sometimes? Check out this clip. You'd be forgiven for thinking this is an actual player up in that Valkyrie. But honestly, even the tryhards aren't this bad in GTA Online. Poor guy can't even walk 10 feet past his spawn point. Again, bad design. Remember the days when you get on GTA, purposely get into a police chase and have fun seeing how long you can survive? Well, don't expect any high speed car chases in GTA Online. We used to have them. The police would rubber band to whatever vehicle you're driving, crash into the back of your car, then the game would take control from you and steer you into a wall. Once again, lazy design. Why not just try to pit me instead? But you know what, I guess Rockstar themselves realized how unrealistic it is for a Ford Taurus to keep up with a Conan Sig. So now, the police chases aren't even police chases anymore. The cops constantly spawn in front of you trying to cut you off, and it turns into a weird vehicular game of dodgeball featuring police helicopters shooting at you. And I know most of you, including myself, haven't really realized or can pinpoint when this change actually happened because we've all developed the habit of calling less every 5 minutes, but I know you guys have noticed the police shooting out your tires. If you haven't, what would you assume? The car slows down, or it becomes harder to steer, or the tires slowly deflate? Once again, the game strips control of your car and steers you straight into the guard railing, giving you absolutely no way to counter this and regain control of your car. And yes, I know, we can buy bulletproof tires, obviously, but that doesn't excuse the lazy design involved in your tires getting shot at. Look at Vice City or GTA 4. They wasn't perfect either, but they were better than this. At least in Vice City, I didn't have my game taking control of my car and steering me into the guard railing. But honestly, all of this could be, and usually is, overlooked and forgotten because none of this is as frustrating as the traffic in this game. The main reason why I'm making this video. Gypsy is bullshit. And Gypsy is bullshit. And Gypsy is bullshit. And Gypsy is bullshit. All you ever do is complain, 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 complain. Uh, this Gypsy guy, I've never really subscribed to him, never followed him. I've known of him. Um, I came across his video the other day, and I completely disagreed with it, and I thought I'd make a counter video to it. <laughs> It feels like Rockstar purposely programmed the traffic to cut you off, crash into you, or just make random U-turns for no reason. You ever notice that when you start an import-export mission, suddenly all of the traffic in Los Santos becomes student drivers hell-bent on crashing into you? It's not just your imagination, it happens to all of us. Look at this dude staging at the red light to cut me off. Look at this car spawning in front of this guy, driving down the wrong side of the road, just falling out of the sky. Look at these two cavalcades pulling a Tokyo Drift at the same exact time, cutting off this guy. It's so blatant that the game is programmed this way, or at least it feels like it. Anytime I'm on a mission, the NPCs artificially speed up to cut me off no matter how fast I'm going, or make random U-turns just as I'm crossing the intersection. When you spend millions of dollars on equipment like the Presser Mark II and the Hydra, or whatever else you can make your very boring, mundane, long, repetitive grind a little bit quicker and a little bit more efficient, it becomes really annoying when the game forces you to drive a very slow, big vehicle, and then on top of that, the AI are programmed to cut you off and crash into you, stopping you dead in your tracks, making you lose all of your speed and all of your momentum. And that, paired with the fact that they have 100% accuracy and sped up animations, means that in missions where you're forced to drive, for instance, the RV, a lot of the times you die due to unfairness in the AI. And like I said before, I love a challenge, because a challenging game forces you to get better and learn or quit. But no amount of game sentence skill is going to allow me to dodge something when it's programmed to rubber band to my speed and crash into me. You will never be good enough to defeat aimbot or artificial scripting. So don't try to tell me that I'm bad at the game when it's Rockstar that are doing a bad job making bad choices when it comes to their AI. Import export was a long time ago, I'll admit that. But the casino heist? Well that just came out and it's filled with broken missions and bugs and everything that was mentioned earlier. I can't count how many times I've gotten soft blocked in the vault room or kicked to free mode, or a guard shoots his weapon after he's already been wasted triggering the alarm, or in some cases, taking out players. He shot at the roof, but yet the player ended up getting wasted. How does that work? Honestly, it's just amazing that after 7 years, they still continue to rush things, and that's why we get subpar content. And don't get me wrong, 
Both of the casino updates were amazing and arguably made online better. I'm not trying to say, when I say subpar content, I don't mean in terms of the DLCs themselves and the cars and the, and the heists. I'm talking about the design, the difficulty curve, and the AI in the combat. Honestly, I don't have fun playing GTA when I just go around in a Mark II oppressor spamming rockets at AI. There's like no skill involved in that at all. It takes all the fun away. It's basically press the fire button to win. I enjoy getting better at the game, improving my aim, improving my game skill, my game sense. I enjoy stuff like that because it forces me to get better at the game. I don't enjoy using aimbot and homing missiles and stuff like that to take out AI. The Casino Heist is one of the best updates we've gotten to GTA since the original Heist update. But honestly, I'm just sort of shocked that with the budget and reputation Rockstar has, they still put out DLCs with these issues. How many hours of your life have been spent staring at the clouds of Los Santos or loading into the game? Look, I love GTA Online. But I hate the stuff about this game that wastes my time or is just blatant, it's just blatantly unfair. And that includes NPCs that are scripted to crash into me when I just spent the last 30 seconds getting my slow ass post op van that I'm forced to drive to full speed. I don't hate GTA, I just wish some things were done better. And honestly, you guys should too. I mean, don't you guys want faster loading times, an engaging difficulty curve that makes you get better at the game, and a predictable traffic? Instead of long loading times, enemies with rapid fire, laser pinpoint accuracy, and scripted accidents? Listen, when stuff like this happens, I can laugh because it's funny and it just it's stuff that would only happen in GTA. It's not blatantly scripted for this to happen, it's just funny when stuff like this happens. But other stuff is just aggravating, honestly. If I haven't proved my point yet, I'm going to leave you guys with this clip right here. If this doesn't show you how sometimes, not all the time, but how sometimes Rockstar could be lazy at programming their AI and their difficulty curve, then I honestly don't know what will.